Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be talking about T.P. Hendren, Melanie Griffith, and Dakota Johnson's favorite beauty products. I thought it would be fun to do a video that featured three generations of women and talk about their favorite beauty products. And if you like this idea for a series, I would be happy to do some more. I have some other ideas up my sleeve. So let's start out with T.P. Hendren. And T.P. Hendren is the grandmother of Dakota Johnson. And T.P. Hendren was born on January 19th, 1930. And she is an American actress, animal rights activist, and former fashion model. So T.P. started out her career as a fashion model and appeared on the front covers of Life magazine, Glamour magazine, among many others. And T.P. became an actress after she was discovered by Alfred Hitchcock while appearing on a television commercial in 1961. She received world recognition for her work in two of his films, the suspense thriller The Birds from 1963, for which she won a Golden Globe, and the psychological drama Marnie in 1964. She has appeared in over 80 films and television shows, including Charlie Chaplin's final film, A Countess from Hong Kong, 1967. And she also has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So it was really difficult finding which beauty products she liked, but I found a few interviews. And in one of the interviews, they ask her, what is your favorite smell? And she says, I have no sense of taste or smell due to an accident in the 1960s. But her favorite smell used to be rain, puppies, and the joy of opening up a fresh can of coffee. And her favorite perfume was Joy by John Patu, which is a very popular perfume in old Hollywood. And Joy initially was launched in 1929, and it's a Parisian perfume, and it is claimed to be one of the most ex expensive fragrances in the world due to its beautiful bouquet of flowers. And it's a really nice perfume. It just has so many different floral scents. It's a very exotic and beautiful perfume. It's very classic. It's one of my favorites and it's worn by so many old Hollywood movie stars. And I have a recent interview with T.P. Hendren and it is her quarantine routine. I thought this was a little interesting. So this is in the interview, they ask her kind of what she's doing during quarantine. And she says, I'm in constant communication with my daughter and granddaughter via phone, the actors told Fox News. Unfortunately, we don't have much, if any, internet access since the fire's out here, and I'm not able to use any of the technological conveniences to communicate via the internet. In addition, I am unable to, of course, to follow or respond to fans on any of my social media platforms. But she is enjoying her isolation at home. And T.P.'s daughter, Melanie Griffith, let's talk a little bit about her. So Melanie Griffith was born on August 9th, 1957. She's an American film, stage, and television actress, as well as film producer. She began her career in the 1970s, appearing in several independent thriller films before achieving mainstream success in the mid-1980s. Born in New York City to actress T.P. Hendren and advertising executive Peter Griffith, she was raised mainly in L.A., where she graduated from the Hollywood Professional School at age 16. In 1975, a then 17-year-old Griffith appeared opposite Gene Hackman in Arthur Penn's film noir Night Moves. She later rose to prominence for her role portraying a pornographic actress in Brian De Palma's thriller Body Double. Griffith's later performance in the comedy Something Wild, aired in 1986, garnered her critical acclaim before she was cast in 1988's Working Girl, which earned her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress and won her a Golden Globe. So, I have some information on which skincare products she used. She has a very expensive taste. And so there's this new hot product in Hollywood and Melanie claims to use it and it, people call it the cream. And it is used by celebrities, including Kris Jenner, Demi Moore, Diane Kruger, to name a few. And the brand is called August Tinnis Batter. And it's very expensive, this cream. I mean, obviously I wanted to buy it for this video, but I think it was like $300, so that didn't happen. But it looks interesting. I'm a little bit skeptical, but I don't know if any of you guys have tried it, let me know. And that's, it seems like she's almost like a spokesperson for it, but I'm not entirely sure. But she says she uses this brand on a regular basis and loves it. So maybe it is really good. 
And for perfumes, she had a few favorites and one of them is Cartier Must D. And this one was launched in 1981. It's the first fragrance from Cartier that stunned the world of perfume. It's an oriental fragrance with a unique freshness added by the very green note of Galbanum. And this one is made in France. And the top notes are jasmine and the base notes are vanilla. So it seems like a really nice fragrance. I do love the scent of jasmine. And another one of her favorite perfumes is Annick Goutel Gardenia Passion. And this one was launched in 1989. It's based on the Kyoto rainy season. The humid air diffuses a fascinating scent through the silver pavilion. Porcelain white gardenia flowers at the foot of the wooden stilts, casting their fragrant spell. Gardenia Passion reveals a troubling and unapologetic sensuality. It is the scent of the ultimate feminine confidence captivating, troubling, seductive. And this one is also made in France. And the notes are jasmine, orange blossom, tuberose, and oak moss. And another one of her favorite fragrances is another Anik one. This is Anik Goutel Petite Cherie. And this one was launched in 1998. It is a perfume of innocent tenderness. The sweetness of Petite Cherie makes you feel happy, playful, and cheery. It builds a cocoon of sunny notes around you, which Wake up the most tender emotions. It's fruity, mischievous, and reassuring. And the notes are pear, peach, musky rose, freshly cut grass, and vanilla. This one sounds really interesting. I've never smelled a perfume with freshly cut grass in it, so I'm kind of curious about this one. And last but not least is Melanie's daughter and Teepee's granddaughter, and this is Dakota Johnson. I actually had no idea that her dad was Don Johnson. I know he was very popular in the 1980s. I believe he was on Miami Vice. So Dakota Johnson was born on October 4th, 1989, and she's an American actress and model. And she made her film debut at the age of 10 with a minor appearance in Crazy in Alabama, and this was in 1999. And it's a dark comedy film starring her mother. Johnson was discouraged from pursuing acting further until she completed her high school, after which she began auditioning for roles in LA. She was cast in a minor part in The Social Network 2010, and subsequently had supporting roles in the comedy 21 Jump Street, an independent comedy Goats, and the romantic comedy The Five Year Engagement. In 2015, Johnson had her first starring role as Anastasia Steele in the, the Fifty Shades of Grey film series. And for her performance in the series, she received a BAFTA for Rising Star Award nomination in 2016. And she's been in a bunch of other newer films as well. I really like her style and her hair, and she kind of has those really laid back looking fringe bangs. I kind of want my bangs like her. I'm thinking about growing them, so I might, but I don't know, she seems really nice. I like her style, she kind of has a vintage, kind of laid back, kind of edgy look to her, but I'm really into it. So I found some interviews, it was hard to get exactly which products she used, but I did find some interviews. This one is from Glamour Magazine, and it talks about her skincare routine. And Dakota says, I'm a sucker for pretty packaging, so I buy a bunch of products but end up not using any of them. I just like the way they look. I truly have the simplest routine. I feel like I'm kind of the same way. I just like pretty things and just like trying new things. So I find it hard to stick to one thing, but I do end up using most of my products, but I kind of know what she means when she says she's a sucker for pretty packaging. So her routine is pretty simple. She says she washes her face in the morning and night, then she moisturizes during the day and adds sunscreen. And right now she says she's really into Lancer products. I've never tried Lancer before, but I got the Lancer face oil from Sephora because I wanted to try something from them. And this one was really highly reviewed. And it's Omega Hydrating Oil with Ferment Complex. So I'm really excited to use this. I used it last night and my skin felt really soft after and really rejuvenated. It's a really nice oil and it kind of gives you a dewy glow. So I'm excited to keep using this one. I'm quite impressed with it so far. I would love to try some of their other products as well. I didn't say specifically which products she used. She just said she likes Lancer products. And her makeup is quite minimal. She says, I don't really wear makeup if I don't have to. When I'm going out somewhere, I'll use a little concealer, lip color, and mascara. And her Bright Eye Beauty Hack 
Hello, I'm Dakota and I'm addicted to eye drops. The last time I used was 20 minutes ago. Really, I'm addicted to eye drops. I just love the feeling of them in my eyes. It's glorious. I feel like I had an eye drop addiction for a while. I remember a few years ago, like I swear, you get addicted to them and use them every morning and they help brighten your eyes, but then if you stop using them, your eyes get kind of dry and red and I had to like stop using them. They are kind of addictive and it just like, I could see how people would want them, especially if you're filming a lot or getting interviewed, I could see how she would get addicted to them. So she uses her grandma's mascara trick and this is from TP. So TP was watching me put my mascara on once and told me that if you hold the mirror down low and then put the mascara on while looking downward, you will get the most coverage from the base of the lashes to the tips. And of course she's right. She's a movie star, she's a legend. She actually swore in that last thing, but I didn't want to say it, so. And for perfume, she says, I've always worn a fragrance because I love to leave a scent behind. I love that perfume can take you back to some place immediately. I prefer floral scents to ones that are musky. Now she says she's wearing Gucci Bloom. It's a very floral scent, which she loves. And she says her mother, Melanie Griffith, has worn the same perfume her entire life and it's very comforting to me. So Gucci Bloom is considered a classic floral scent. I ended up picking up a bottle from Sephora. I really like the kind of pastel pink bottle with the floral on the front. It kind of has like a vintage, almost Victorian vibe to it. It smells really good. It's really fresh. It's like a really pretty kind of delicate classic floral scent. It does have a little bit of a modern twist. I'm always a sucker for floral fragrances. You really can't go wrong. The box is really pretty too. Again, it has a kind of a vintage Victorian vibe with the kind of the black and white etching almost on it. And the key notes are tuberose, jasmine bud, and ragoon creeper. I've never heard of ragoon creeper before, but that sounds interesting. And this is one of the newer fragrances from Gucci Bloom family, and it's the Vitality of Spring. And it smells like soft raindrops, and it's a fresh version of the original scent. The fragrance opens up fully at once with a trio of highly concentrated noble ingredients, jasmine bud extract, natural tuberose absolute, and ragoon creeper. And here's a last interview question to Dakota, and it says, Some people have a really personal connection to fragrance. They wear one scent, and they wear that one scent for the rest of their lives. Others are trying something new all the time. What method do you follow when it comes to your fragrance? And Dakota says, I stick to the same scents. My olfactory is very strong, so I remember people by the way they smell. Places, people's homes. It evokes a lot of memories and emotion in time. My mother has always smelled the same and I find it really beautiful. So because I feature so many perfumes on my channel, I find it hard to stick to one scent. Um, I just like to always switch it up, but I do respect people that kind of have their signature scent. I feel like I've always wanted to be that person, but I'm too obsessed with trying new things and beauty products. I feel like that's almost impossible for me, but I do respect that when people kind of have their signature scent and it's their go-to perfume that they're known for. So thank you so much for watching this video. I've had so much fun researching all of these lovely ladies. And if you want me to feature any other dynasty type videos when I feature a whole family, let me know. There's plenty of other ones I could feature. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.